Although no one's hungry anymore. Yay. Um we're down to 35. Although the thing is, I don't think we're gonna survive much longer. We've got no food in stock. Uh in supply, which means we've still got some cabbages and we've still got some pecans to come in. Um I think in future I think if I try this again, I'm not sure if I will. If I try doing something like this again, I think what I'd do is, obviously each map's kind of random, but I think have a block of these guys seems to work, seems to work well. I'm not sure if the herbs have been used. No, I think the herbs must be being used. Yes. So the herbs are being used. So we, I think go for those in a block, because I think they all go together. Um... I think, of, yeah, I think not building the marketplace. Um, and, and, and like not building the quarry and an early trading post would be how I'd do it differently. Because if you've got an early trading post, you can start looking at these things. Um, and if you get then work on the farms, or you then get the, get to see what the production is. Um, you can then stop selling your produce. Um, for kind of again, you're thinking thinking long term, um, and I think. But then again, this was thinking long term, and it's really not done me much good. I'm going to pull one guy out of there because we're not using stone. I can pull both guys out of there. We're not using any stone. Gatherer, hunter. Huh. <sighs> I'm not sure what to do. I'm wondering whether to throw. <laughs> Pretty much, I'm wondering at this point whether to throw in the towel. Actually, we need a wood. We need a wood cutter. Thinking about it. Oh, poor guy. For sure. Um, we're gonna have to think, and then I don't want to have any. Um, I think I'm gonna have to think about. Ah, of course, my fishermen become labor. My farmers become laborers, so they're gonna be get, getting all, this log, all these logs for us. Um. I'm going to have to think about... Because I was thinking bust would be everyone dies. But I don't think that's likely to happen. All that... I don't think all that much. Because... We've got food supplies coming in. So I think we're going to get to a point where... Where, as a f with, a food, with the food supply, we'll end up with a kind of sustainable level of population where we'll just hit a point where it just is stable because we're producing enough food I was just saying actually maybe not because you'll need you need food but you also need the well no because well that's the whole point of the game is getting reaching that sustainable food level pretty much so there should so it should exist maybe we just kind of overreached so Hmm. It might be, yeah. Mm -hmm. We can then start thinking about what to do next. I do think we want to get this. We have got seven students, so they can then pop up somewhere else. We've got some food in stock, which is good, but it probably won't last um, through all of the winter. Um, I think we should. It should stay around for autumn. I suspect. But um, oh dear. Poor, poor Hermo. All on his lonesome. Um. <laughs> oh yep, yeah, there we. Oh, oh, we got. We did get into winter. I was thinking maybe it wouldn't. Might not have even lasted into winter, but we are in winter. We did get into winter. With before it clearly disappeared. I'm sorry, I'm killing you all. I'm so sorry. So I think we'll work on the trading post. Ooh. You're now a builder. So we'll work on the trading post. That may allow us, allow us to trade. 
But the thing is, and the problem with that is I won't be able to actually trade um, food. I can't afford to do it. I'll, I'll, um, I think what I should be doing is maybe working on um, expanding my food supplies. Which is probably why this this might be a good thing. Actually, if actually, if I if I can get maybe I don't know, I don't know. I was thinking sheep because that gets me wool, which I can then use here. Um, but it'd probably be more useful to have I don't know. Well, I mean, either way, you're going to be slaughtering them for food anyway, at some point. I don't know. I don't know how this game works, clearly. Um, the logs are getting shifted in, then we'll get stone and iron. Although I don't think we have enough stone. And, and it's snowing. And it may mean I have to go up back to this quarry to get more stone out. So, we've got 21 logs, which is enough. We haven't got enough stone. I haven't got enough iron, um, which is probably why you would which is probably why you would do things this way. Which is probably I don't know. Which is probably another reason for another argument for building this early is you've got the resources for it. Um, but then you can say that about any relatively expensive, relatively expensive building. Like you'd use it as an argument for the quarry because that was not exactly cheap, was it? Eighty wood and forty iron. But when else are you going to have forty iron? But that's a ridiculous thing to say at the beginning. I don't know. It probably depends. It's probably you can't. You can have a vague strategy, I think, but it's going to be very much dependent on. Uh, how the map is generated, I'd say. Hmm. Full food, it's not zero. Yay! Huh. <sighs> hmm. Yeah, I've got to think about how best to keep people alive at this point. Also the question of do I throw this in as a bad as a as a bad job and then have another go or move on to something else. Ah uh, no, I'm low on stone. And I'm low on logs. Lots of logs here. You're not paying attention. I need a build the up here in the stone cutter so that you're doing that. Uh, no, I'll leave you as a builder. Because you'll be working on this stuff that's on the ground. But I, I, that might not be enough iron, actually. Um, we'll wait and see, we'll wait and see. I can't really do much else. Reserve of iron is low. Yes, of course it is. Oh, you're using it as well, aren't you? That's going to make things a little bit more frustrating. The trading post, yeah, as I said, the trading post might allow us to get an animal. Which allows us to build it. I might have to build it. Oh, I don't remember which is the button I've got. Straight line, like that. Um, so I'll build us something to do. But um, if we get the trading post, that would allow us to yeah, buy an animal for here, although I don't know which one we'd go for. Um, <laughs> food limit 5,000. Uh, so, hmm. 
And that'll disappear momentarily, won't it? Everyone seems to have some food now, which is good. We've got through to the farm, the harvest. You're going to leave it a problem. A lot of fish. Yeah, you're in trouble. You're alright. Yeah, it looks like it kind of almost happens in cycles. So... Eat. So... One group will have a lot of food. One, a few houses will have a lot of food. So they'll... You have no iron. We're out of, yeah, we're out of iron. Because I'm setting up there. Ah! I can't build! Very much tempted to throw this in because I've just I've just done this so badly. I mean, I'd I'd be playing this differently if I weren't trying to push for 500. I'd be probably I'd probably be a bit. I really wouldn't be expanding as 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 I would be expanding more slowly. I would guess I probably wouldn't have gone for this actually. At it. I shouldn't have gone for it. It was a terrible idea. Um. We want to prioritize this work and that work. But, um, oh, we're in spring. We're in spring. So, oh, we're going to lose all, all of our farmers going off, aren't we? That will stop up. <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure this is such. This was such a good idea. I don't think these are a good idea. The tunnel, I think, has saved me time and has given me resources faster and gotten people back to work, so they can they can go and grab stuff, they can head back, and they're not traipsing all the way around. This, I think, is a good, was a good idea, he says. I think coming over this side of the river for these may have been a mistake, but because of these, not because of going across the river. Ah. But then, what do you do? Do you build, like, another, another tunnel through here and... Actually, that, no, that would have still cost, that would have cost me probably more more in terms of resources. Like wood, easy. Stone is that a bit more expensive. Although there's a lot of stone and iron down here, it's, it's not that bad. Yeah, and and starting that now is a, was a mistake, I think. Yeah, we've got a new labourer. Woo, labourer! <sighs> yeah, people are unhappy, people are unhealthy. Probably because I've they've basically starved for a year collectively. Uh huh. Not sure what to say, really, <laughs> because I can't. I, I'm not, I don't really want to be planning ahead very far at the moment because I don't know how much I'm actually going to be able to do. It may. It, we may quite soon reach a point of oh pants. We haven't got enough. Everyone's going to die. Or oh, I need to move people around because we've lost someone, or because we need more of this production. I mean, we need more iron. The only reliable source I'd have of iron would be the, this mine. Which means pulling a worker out from somewhere and throwing them into becoming a miner. 
which isn't something I necessarily desperately want to do, because I, I don't really want to pull anyone out of anything, because I need as much food as I can get. Food's, food's on problem, as you may have noticed. Hmm. I think these three together may be a terrible mistake. No, not as in having all three, or having them all, all three of them here is a mistake. I think, oh, especially, yeah, that's, that, I should have put, I should have put, been putting that around here somewhere closer to everything. Because, um, this, this trading post, I think it's just because they're all so expensive, so I've used so many resources in trying to build them that I'm draining my resources away from, like, I don't have any logs for my blacksmith. No, I don't have any iron for my blacksmith because it's going up here. Well, actually, no, it isn't because it's gone up there because we haven't got anything left. So we're going to slowly run out of tools. Although we're not starving at the moment, that's good. But I've, I haven't really got the spare people around. So at the moment we are pretty much just sitting around doing nout. Waiting for bits and pieces to progress. I don't want spawn. Yeah, you're finishing the road. Which I gave you to do while we had nine labourers, now they're gone and you're off. You are now picking up resources. You don't have any leather. Yeah, that's, that's the problem, is the hunter's cabin doesn't produce as much leather as I thought it would. So it's probably... Although it was useful having it, we're now at a point where I'm not actually... I'm not producing anything for it. Uh, which leads me back to... I should have built the trading post earlier and then tried to get some kind of... kind of... sheep that I could have here, which would produce wool and therefore on wool and clothes. Hmm. So 37, just shy of 40. So it looks like this is our kind of stable thing. We've got no food. Oh, okay, maybe not. We may be about to lose some more people. Okay, maybe 30 is our stable point. 